Hey guys, today I'm working with a Whirlpool washer and it's an Admiral surname, but all made by Whirlpool. A lot of these Admiral, Inglius, um, Roper, those are all machines made by Whirlpool Corporation. Um, and they're all kind of the same, but this one here I've got going, got it hooked up, kind of as if you're standing here yourself, checking it out, you get to see that I've got it set to normal with the regular uh, agitation time. Extra heavy adds a little bit more agitation time on there. You've got some adjustments and dials here. It's going through the wash portion. Now, typically the lid would be locked. You wouldn't be able to open this up. However, I just took the two little screws out here so I could put the locking mechanism in. That way we can open it up and you can actually see what's going on here. Uh, I like people to see that these are actually working correctly. So here we've got full submersion. The clothes are completely submerged in water and the agitator is doing its job uh, getting those clothes moved around and clean. So uh, this machine has the ability to really clean those clothes with the full submersion. And you get to adjust how much water is being used with this dial right here. So next it's going to after it washes for a while, it's going to drain out, fill back up with clean water, and it'll do a rinse cycle there where it agitates with clean water. Then we'll do the final spin. So I'm going to show you that it drains the water out. Uh, then when it is all done, it has a nice, fast, smooth final spin cycle. So we'll allow it to move through here. I'll try to keep this video kind of short. Um, but that way you get to see every aspect of it is working perfectly. And then we'll move over to the dryer. Okay, we have drained all the water out. We're into the final spin cycle. See it's spinning nice and fast. Smooth operation. Once it's all done, it'll do a little chime and say cycle complete there. But it will go through this spinning cycle about three times to get the max extraction of water out of those clothes, which is great because it cuts your drying time in half. So I'll go ahead and put this lock switch back on there, let this finish up, and we'll move over and show you the dryer. Okay, now we've got a Kenmore Elite electric dryer. Tons of options on this, but just to give an example, you could hit the jeans or normal cotton. I mean, tons of options. We'll just go, uh, let's see, we'll go cotton because it's high heat auto dryness level, you can change that around, which changes your time, tons of options. We're gonna go ahead and hit start. You can hear it running, tumbling, nice smooth operation, nice and quiet. I'm gonna give it just a minute to heat up, then I'm gonna show you that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to. Okay, been about almost two minutes now. And I've got a surface temperature gun. So right in between those two red dots, it's gonna take a surface temperature measurement. So it's about 80, 85 degrees Fahrenheit on the top of this machine. We shoot it down on the floor, you'll see the floor is much colder. So go ahead and open this up. Shoot it right inside the heating element tube. So you can see plenty of heat coming out of that tube there. And uh, that in turn is going to heat the inside of your dryer up anywhere from about 95 up to 195 degrees which dries your clothes. You've got your lint trap right here. And that temperature just depends on what all you set this to here. Cause you could obviously go for something like delicates, air dry, if you hit stop, air dry, which is gonna have no heat on it. Um, or you could do very low heat, uh, ultra care, low, everything set to low. So tons of options. Now you can see as if you're standing here yourself, testing it out, everything works perfect. Go ahead and get it listed up for sale. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.